12-0 to, 12 to against High Point in their victory, so it'll be a key for the Eagles today. Popovich and Reed to tip it off, and the noon start is underway here from Connie Forum. DePaul from the Midwest, our time difference, but how much does the early start maybe affect a team on the road? I mean, it's, a, it's an early game, but they were in yesterday. I believe they practiced at the Celtics practice uh, facility, so they got some time to get that shoot around in. Derek Thornton tries to feed it down low. A little tough to handle for Popovich, and the Eagles turn it over on their first possession. And that's been a weakness for the Eagles, has been their mishandled passes. They're averaging close to 15 turnovers a game. They need to take care of the ball if they can come out with a win. And DePaul right around that same area, averaging over 15 giveaways per game, and we know that's something the BC defense will look to prey on. Into the low post, double team. Open man off the kick out. And friendly bounce on the three for Romeo Weems. Romeo Weems, the freshman, he's was the best player in the state of Michigan last season, but has really been a key factor for the su success early for DePaul. They've been a good three-point shooting team as well, close to 40% from behind the arc. Popovich, oh, great ball cut there by Jay Heath. It's like a Nick Popovich, new member of the 1,000 Point Club, but also close to his 100th assist for his career for the Eagles. Quick hand, Stephon Mitchell got a piece of that one inside. Thornton finds Mitchell in the corner, got it right back, thought about the quick three. They swing it around, Heath the open man. Can't knock it down. Rebound, got mixed up, eventually Weems secures it. Early 3-2 lead here for the Blue Demons on the road. Charlie Moore handles the point guard duties, a transfer from Kansas. A lot of transfer players on this Blue Demons team. Moore on the blow by, can't finish at the rim. Thornton weaving through traffic, himself a transfer. He'll pull up, tough jumper, won't go. And the rebound snatched up by Jalen Butts. Butts takes the handoff. Weems fakes the three, goes against the smaller Thornton. Moore has Mitchell in the switch. Can't shake and bake. Tried to squeeze it through to Butts. It went off the hip of Popovich out of bounds. Take another look at that early BC bucket. The nice feed here from Popovich. And that was just a great look by Jay Heath. It was an efficient cut back door and a great lead by Popovich. Now one thing to watch on the defensive end here for the Eagles, DePaul rolls a little bit bigger, a more traditional small forward. Three off the catch, won't go. And the rebound tipped away by Heath to Thornton. So one of the smaller BC guards gonna have to guard a bigger wingman. Popovich calling for it. Thornton drives and kicks. Extra pass. Heath, no room given up by Moore. Thornton, contested three. Goes anyway. Derek Thornton, the grad transfer, started at Duke his freshman year, but most recently at USC, but has been a crucial part to the early success for the Eagles. We talk about a pedigree in the college game. Doesn't get much better than Duke and USC. Really adding... Some nice punch to this BC lineup. Absent Kai Bowman from last year. Another steal from the Eagles. Mitchell leads the break back the other way. Drives it in. And a lot of contact, but no call. Mitchell just kind of got out of control in midair. Moore back the other way in transition. Drops it off. Reed's pull up is good. And that is why Reed is such a threat. And Charlie Moore, a great job of just finding him off of the penetration. All even five apiece here in the opening minutes. Popovich, Heath. Moore jumps out. Thornton off the cut. Kicked off a DePaul foot. And it'll stay with the Eagles here. Here's Derek Thornton torching the nets. And Derek Thornton will play point for the Eagles. But that was a great look by Jay Heath. And Thornton just in motion. And Charlie Moore, a great job penetrating. And just an efficient shooter. Poor Reed, shooting close to 70% from the field, but I mean, 63% from beyond the arc, so a big threat from there as well. You see that high percentage, you imagine a lot of it tends to be right around the rim, but you can see Reed obviously has that ability to step out and hit the jumper. Yeah. He's only, uh, only a junior, but has really led the team this the last two seasons, the most improved player from the Big East. Last season has clearly worked a lot on his game in the offseason. 
and one of the few returners from last year's DePaul team. Again, uh, we've talked about this with the Eagles a few times before where they're having to replace a lot of scoring from last year's team. Well, DePaul's very much in the same boat. They lost their top three scores from last year. You know, they brought in a bunch of really talented transfer players and young players that have stepped up, but Reed is sort of that uh, continuous thread from last year to this year. Taking care of the moisture under the basket. Eagles will inbound from the corner. C.J. Felder getting in for the first time. Thornton, one way then the other. Oh, nice pick there by Weems. Weems from way downtown. Uh, left that one a little short. That's not something you usually see from Weems, but one of the reasons for the success for the Blue Demons early this season has been on the defensive end. They've already forced three turnovers against the Eagles. Only averaging 60 points allowed per contest as well, so they've been tough in terms of just giving up points. I saw that number in terms of opponents' turnovers per game, averaging almost 20 takeaways, and that usually leads to easy transition baskets. BC already with a couple steals against DePaul today. Jared Hamilton going to go to the line here. Fouled shooting a three just before the timeout. That foul called on Jalen Coleman lands. Hamilton, it's only taken two free throws all year. A pair of brothers on BC's team out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Jared actually made his BC debut against DePaul last year. You talked about the focus on the defensive end, but especially when you have a team who essentially 75% of the Eagles team is new. So they haven't played together. They haven't meshed well together. And so they really have to control what they can control. And a big part of that has been the play of Hamilton. Knocks down all three free throws. That puts the Eagles ahead by three. A little ball pressure in the backcourt. BC looking to trap. Reed steps through. Moore lines up a triple. Comes up short. Rebound tipped by Popovich. Oh, a couple of Eagles. Friendly fire and a dunk from Weems. That was just a great follow-up by Weems, but once again, they allowed for an open three-point shot and an offensive rebound, second chance points. You can't give those up. Yeah, Reed and Butts both very good on the glass. Popovich kind of the only big man down there to compete. Felder takes the handoff. He'll try a three. Yeah, it's wide right. Weems the rebound for DePaul. High screen, Moore weaving his way in. The handoff, Weems. Oh, nice behind the back pass. Butts can't finish, though. Reed will track down the miss. Out to Weems. Coleman lands. Floats it over. Weems the bobble before the catch. Back outside, Moore thought about the NBA three and the little shuffle step before the float shot turns it over. Check out the offensive rebounding work here by the Blue Demons. Yeah, that was just a great job by Reed and a great cut inside by Weems. It just makes it look easy with that finish. Another change here for the Eagles. Julian Richwain will check in for the first time. The freshman out of L.A. He'll give Jay Heath his first breather. You see the numbers on Reed. Two points so far. He's already all over the stat sheet with an assist, a couple rebounds, and a turnover there by the Eagles as Rishwain can't reel in that pass. And the key for the Eagles going into the season is also going to be their consistency on both ends of the court. And we saw there that's their fifth turnover of the game already. Coleman lands, fires it cross court. Moore run off the three-point line. Coleman lands, lines up a three. That won't go. Long rebound. Thornton will let it go out of bounds. Well, DePaul had come in shooting very well from behind the arc, close to 40%. Now they're just one for five right now. Darius Hall in for the first time. Sophomore from Little Rock, Arkansas. He's got Thornton defensively. That's an interesting matchup going up against the bigger body. Felder spins in traffic and doesn't get the roll. Fights for the miss. And it's out of bounds off of Coleman land. So it'll stay with the Eagles. 
Some nice hustle work there from Feldman. When we talk for the Blue Demons, Reed, what a presence he is on the offensive end, but just what a threat he is on the defensive end, just there to contest that shot, and Felder almost got it in over him, but it's a nice hustle play. Jared Hamilton will inbound. And an offensive foul going to be called on Thornton, setting the screen. Looks like he was about to get plowed over, but he's the one who gets whistled for it. We'll see the replay here. Looked like he moved a bit. You can't put your forearms out. Hard to tell. Looks like he got maybe pushed in the back. Weems able to use his reach to keep it away from Thornton here. Baseline drive. Shot won't go for Marquise Jacobs. Reed, though, there for the follow. Paul Reed putting an early stamp on this game as DePaul jumps back in front. And that is his third offensive rebound. Mitchell, Thornton on the handoff, and Reed now going to be tagged with his first foul. Uh, they're actually going to give it to Darius Hall instead. Only the second team foul, not a whole lot of whistles here to start. BC will bring Popovich back in. And you wonder if Jim Christian might be tempted to go with a little bit bigger lineup just to try to combat the ability of Reed on the boards. And right now they're losing the battle of the boards. They've Paul has eight rebounds to BC's four, so there has to be a better effort on the boards. Mitchell to Rishwain behind the Popovich screen. Fires it back over. Mitchell on the cut. Out to the corner. Three-pointer Hamilton. Yes. Half a dozen for Jared Hamilton out of the gate, and the Eagles go up by a pair. That was a great job by Stefan Mitchell, who set that up with his penetration as more. Finishes a tough shot. Count the basket and the foul for Charlie Moore. Get another look at that three-pointer from Hamilton. And Stefan Mitchell, great job drawing two defenders and Hamilton with the three for the finish, but Paul answers and Moore with a chance for three. Foul goes on Jay Heath, his first. Second BC foul. Moore finishes the three-point play, and now DePaul will extend a little pressure here in the backcourt. And Thornton out of the game. Heath kind of takes over as the point guard. Hamilton again. Popovich from the elbow. Nice spin move. Can't finish. Butts the rebound. Here comes Moore. Oh, he's so tricky with the dribble. Weems goes inside to Butts. Backing down on Popovich, the baby hook, gets his own miss, and the reverse is good. Once again, coming off of that second chance points, you gotta find a body, get a man, and box him out. They can't afford to have those second chance opportunities. You see DePaul owning the glass here, getting second chance opportunities out of it. Hamilton, Popovich turns to face, hands off Heath, gets in the lane, kicks it out, Rishwing to tie, got it. Nice shot there by the freshman Rishwing, his second three of the year. Rishwing had a big game for the freshman against South Florida a few games ago, 11 points coming in and hitting that big three. No answer from Charlie Moore. Rishwing, the Heat touch, yes. <laughs> So Rishwain getting involved, back-to-back -back threes for the young man. That was a great job by Heath finding Rishwain, but hey, there's one, one way to keep yourself some minutes as a freshman, hitting those threes. Moore, the drive, can't hit. Mitchell fights for the rebound. Three on three the other way. Mitchell will slow it up. Now attacks. A kick out. Hamilton, the fake, the shot. Short. Popovich kept it alive, but into the hands of Moore. Breaking back the other way, finds the trailer, butts for the slam. And Up and down they go. The playmaking by Charlie Moore. He's just been so efficient 
on his passes and leading his team for those open buckets. And nobody had the trailer butts that time, able to fly in for the dunk. Eagles holding on to a one-point lead. Hamilton caught up on the attack, tried to give it to Popovich, turned it over. Here's Weems on the fast break, and he's fouled and able to finish. Count the basket and one for Romeo Weems. The freshman Julian Rishwain making his impact felt for BC. The defense from DePaul is more with, just with a great pass and transition and the great finish. But then on the offensive boards, they are beating BC 6-4 to four on the offensive boards and just a great finish by Weems. Well, the uh, size of DePaul certainly breaking through early on. That's former Eagle captain Kerry Shields. Ben Altry here with you on the ECC Network this afternoon. Good battle between the Blue Demons and the Eagles out of the gate. BC's also been able to take advantage of some DePaul turnovers. Four points, uh, four turnovers for the Blue Demons, and that's helped BC kind of stay competitive here in the early going. Yep, and I think a key for Jim Christian's team going in was a focus on what they can control on the defensive end, which is rebounding the basketball, limiting their second chance opportunities, and then taking care of the ball on the offensive end, and DePaul's really done a great job of taking advantage of those opportunities. Romeo Weems unable to finish off the three-point play out of the timeout. That keeps it a one-point edge for DePaul. Blue Demons unbeaten on the season, 5-0. and And it's not exactly a soft 5-0 and either. They've already got a road win at Iowa, so they've taken on some good opponents. And they are outscoring their opponents by 18 points coming into this game. We're going to get a double foul here. Not something you see every day. Butts and Popovich doing battle under the basket. So for Popovich, it's his first. For Butts, his first as well. Third team foul for both. It's not something you see in the college game a lot. See, I think it's more common you see it at the pro level. Yep. I think they're calling a lot more fouls. This season is another turnover for the Eagles. Felder thought he had Rishwain and then just kind of handed it over. Reed fakes the three, has the smaller Richwain on him, gives up the matchup, Weems attacks. Bunts back out high, Moore thought about the Steph Curry shot. He'll drive instead, the floater for the finish. Reed trying to tear the rim down. <laughs> and once again, that comes off the great penetration by Moore inside and just, what a shot by Reed. Moore with his third assist. Here's Thornton trying to answer, attacks, and he'll go to the free throw line. Able to take the bigger weems off the dribble. How about Paul Reed with the emphatic slam? And Charlie Moore, just a great lead in, and Reed just with a convincing dunk. Thornton tried to buy the charge, but there was no call on the contact. Foul on Weems, his first, fourth team foul on DePaul. Thornton only 68% from the line on the year, but by all accounts, a great shooter. You mentioned his pedigree, USC Duke, averaged eight points per game for the Trojans last year. Jay Heath coming back on the floor for BC. He's done a great job of really stepping into a leadership role for the Eagles, and we mentioned uh, with the loss of Kai Bowman, who's now with the Golden State Warriors and has done a great job out there, but losing his leadership on and off the court. It's hard to fill those shoes, but Thorne's done a great job so far. He's done a nice job replacing some of Kai Bowman's points as well. <laughs> Moore uses the high screen. Popovich jumps out on him. Moore off the attack again, just threw it at the rim, and he'll by his way to the free throw line. Foul's gonna be on Popovich, that's his second. So an early decision here for Jim Christian, what to do with Popovich with nine minutes to go in the first half with two fouls. And Popovich did a good job of defending outside, but you have to know that Moore is gonna use his dribble penetration and you have a few, a few inches on, on Moore, just stay in front of him. It looks like he got a little trip there. Certainly not a whole lot of contact, Popovich over to the bench, and he, he wanted to stay in the game. He was yep. petitioning. 
Stephon Mitchell comes back instead, so BC's got to go a little bit small here with Mitchell essentially guarding Reed at the five. How's that going to impact what BC is able to do in terms of competing for rebounds? Well, they need Popovich in the game. He's one of their best shooters, but one of their best rebounders, but also one of the most physical big men inside. And clearly, as we see, Reed, just a pretty shot. Got the better of Mitchell in that matchup. Got him in the air early and then able to finish it off with a soft touch. Thornton able to keep the dribble somehow. Reed right now is four for four from the field, coming in, shooting close to 70% from the field. And keeping up with that consistency. Three rebounds as well. Thornton lost it, and he's going to be called for a travel. Thought he was going to have room for the shot, and it just got sandwiched up. Here's the mismatch that DePaul is going to look to target with Popovich in foul trouble. And Mitchell, he's known for his defense, but trying to stay in front of Reed, but he just does a great job of finding that open shot. Four for four from inside. See if the Blue Demons continue to attack the low post here with BC a little thin down there right now. Try to go back inside. Poked away from Coleman Lance. Reed comes out to get it. Now goes to set up inside. Sets the screen for Moore. Bounce pass through the middle. Flying in. Hall rejected. They're going to call a jump ball. Kamari Williams got a hand to it. The six foot seven freshman from Maryland. He had some height down there for BC. And the Eagles look to Millennium Mark on the bench right now with two fouls. And BC having to go a little late in the front court. And Reed able to volleyball that rebound out, eventually secured by Stephon Mitchell. And a foul in the backcourt as well on Reed. So not an area where you'd want to commit a foul. His first fifth team foul on DePaul. And without Popovich on the floor, BC is going to have to get a little creative under the basket. Popovich at 6'11, he joins Jay Murphy, graduate, 1984 graduate, is the tallest members of the Boston College 1,000th point club. And you mentioned the assist earlier, his unique company there as he's closing in on 100 assists. Jay Heath floats one up, was looking for a little help maybe as that one was short. Moore, three on two the other way. Spins it between two defenders. That one might have been altered on the way up. It goes out of bounds off of Moore, it looked like. And it will be BC ball. Now you were praising more in transition earlier. May have been better suited to drop it off here. <laughs> Moore has been just a great addition for the Blue Demons. And in the first week of the season was averaging close to 21 points, five assists per game. Earned him some Big East honors. No, but I it's been a key for the leadership on and off the court for the Blue Demons. Absolutely. Like Derek Thornton, a guy who's well-traveled around the power conferences before finding a spot here at DePaul. Another foul on the Blue Demons. This will be on Darius Hall, his second. Sixteen foul, so BC nearly to the bonus. Moore started his career at Cal, was a Pac-12 all-rookie honorable mention, set a school record, scoring 38 points against UC Irvine. Then found his way to Kansas, which is not a bad place to go. Only averaged 13 minutes a game with the Jayhawks last year, and now still has another year of eligibility beyond this season with DePaul. Yeah, and he's one of four transfers for DePaul, but pretty incredible the start that they've been able to have just with this new team and how well they've been able to mesh together. Reed with yet another rebound. Quick handoff for Moore as Felder in the switch. Coleman lands, wants to get it inside. Ooh, looks like he may have walked there. In they go to Butts, backing in on Mitchell. Butts turns to face. Mitchell trying to fight him off. Butts gets to his spot, won't get the bucket, but will get to the line. And again, that's a tough ask of Stephon Mitchell down there. Yeah, and that was a great look inside for DePaul. They saw the mismatch inside to Butts, but that's why they need Popovich in the game. And he's their other big man as Mitchell's trying to body him, but it was just a great job by Butts, who didn't let up. and. Now is a chance for two. First foul on Mitchell. Popovich waiting to check back in. Butts just 6 of 14 from the free throw line on the year. So if you're going to concede the free throws, not the worst guy to pick. <laughs> CJ Felder out. Popovich back in. Keep an eye on him playing with the two fouls here. 
Butts makes one of two at the line. DePaul up by four. This has really never been more than a two-position game throughout this first half. Heath. Thornton steps around. Butts. Reed with a block. Lost it, though, in transition, and then steamrolls over Thornton. So Reed compounds the giveaway with the foul. That's his second. Now Reed is a game changer underneath. Yeah, and just the presence he has inside on that help. But it was a great hustle play by Thornton, and Reed just keeps going and grabs that fail. Popovich poked it away from behind. One and one here for Thornton at the line. Reed's got to come out here for DePaul, so that may allow BC an advantage. It's one way of stopping Reed, get him into foul trouble. Thornton perfect at the line so far today, three for three. BC as a team perfect at the line. What shooting a... just below 70% coming in. They're also shooting 80% from beyond the arc. They're right now four for five from the three, which has really kept them in this game. Now they've taken eight fewer shots than DePaul. Part of that has been the turnovers. The other part of that has been the second chance opportunities yeah. for the Blue Demons. You see the three-point numbers. DePaul just one for six from beyond the arc. Coleman lands, thought about attacking, now pulls it out to Moore to reset. Coleman lands, the fake, under 10 on the shot clock, runs over Thornton. Offensive foul. Now Thornton wanted to charge earlier on Moore. He got it that time against Coleman Lands. DePaul's done a great job of getting into the lane all game, but that was just a great job by Derek Thornton who steps up and takes that charge against Coleman Lands. Now typically when you're looking for a charge, you, a lot of times you look at the feet. That time Thornton wasn't necessarily set, but it was the fact that Coleman Lands went to the chest. Yep, and I think that's been a, a key for Jim Christian's team has been their on-ball defense and really taking pride in the fact that you're not going to let your man go by you. But that was a great job by Thornton by staying in front of him and stepping up and taking that charge. Goldman lands now with two fouls. So Oscar Lopez Jr. gets his first action. Popovich faked the handoff. Butts does a good job to seal him out, knocked loose. Back into the hands of Thornton, under 10 to shoot. Popovich sets the screen. Thornton, step back. No. Popovich fighting for the board. Diving to the corner, won't be able to grab it. Go back over to DePaul. Popovich with two fouls has to be a little bit careful, but it's a nice hustle by the senior. Sometimes six foot eleven, not quite big enough. <laughs> and DePaul able to escape the trap easily. Lopez along the baseline. Three-pointer is no good from Jacobs. BC looks to push. Thornton. Handoff Mitchell got it right back. They find Heath. Open three. No. Long rebound. Tracked down by Weems. And got a stoppage here. Weems a little bit hobbled coming up with that ball. And I think the officials allowing a stoppage here. Weems feeling out that right leg. DePaul and why they've been so strong this season has been their defense. Look at them get back and make a stop, not allowing for any easy chances. And they just, Eagles have not been able to get Heath in rhythm. He's coming off of a 17 point game versus Eastern Washington. He was five from seven from beyond the arc, but it's right now zero for three from the field. A couple of assists, so he's still fulfilling that role as a playmaker. More Felder. The rebound eventually snatched by Thornton. Trying to beat the defense up the floor. Can't dance around Hall and finish. He hit the ground. The BC faithful looking for a foul. Mitchell with a steal in transition. Five on one the other way. Felder rises. Thornton gathers and lays it in. I don't know if that was meant to be a pass, but <laughs> we'll take it. That was a great job by Felder and Thornton. Now it makes BC one of their last seven from the field. We'll talk about Jerry York more at halftime. That was like a power play for BC <laughs> going up the ice. Huh? Legendary Eagles hockey head coach enshrined in the Hockey Hall of Fame this week. Mitchell leaning, gets the steal. Thornton with numbers ahead. Hamilton stuffs it. Dave Leto has seen enough. He wants the timeout. 4.06 left to go in the first half. The Eagles on a run. 
Up by two. On the defensive end. Well, no sea urchin up by the rim, so he doesn't have to worry about that. Alongside the former Eagle captain, Kerry Shields. Ben Alci here with you. The Eagles on a 6-0 run over the last 230. Four of those last six points off to Paul turnovers as well. Popovich getting another breather, playing with two fouls. So BC again goes small. Weems misses the turnaround. Here is Hamilton to Thornton. Back to Hamilton. Thornton off the dribble drive. Contacted by Lopez. And DePaul just continues to play aggressive despite being in foul trouble here. That was just a great job by Thornton, who is also aggressive on the offensive end. But that's what he's really brought to the Eagles, just that aggressiveness on both ends of the court. And obviously as a veteran player, you know, he knows what the situation is here with the foul trouble for DePaul. So uh, when you see that in your mind as a player, do you look to attack the basket more? Oh, 100%. And I mean, where the Eagles have struggled has been on the rebounds. And right now, Reed, who is still on the bench, but you want to keep playing on the attack. Thornton misses his first free throw, had been five for five. Eagles lead by three. Weems the quick touch. Nice finish off the window. Nine points for Weems here in the first half. The freshman's season slash career high is 13, so he's kind of carrying DePaul here. He enters his freshman season coming out as the best player in Michigan high school basketball and has just had an unbelievable start to his freshman campaign as Thornton with two. Carrying BC on the other end. Thornton now with a dozen. Kind of quietly has put together a good first half. Butts looks to attack, and he's called for the travel. Now you mentioned uh, the best player in Michigan high school basketball. Certainly that is a, a tremendous honor. You think about the great players who have won that award previous years, and just a, a great grab for this DePaul recruiting class. I think many people were surprised when he chose to go to DePaul, but I think what he said was just the connection he had with Coach Leto and how real that Leto was with him. And he said he didn't tell him what he wanted to hear. He told him what, what he needed to hear and what he had to improve with his game. But so far, I think he's been happy with that decision. Weems fires it through the hands of Darius Hall out of bounds. Yet another turnover for the Blue Demons. That's their sixth in the last four plus minutes. And that's not like how that DePaul's been playing over these last five games. They're only averaging close to 13 turnovers a game, but this is just a bad stretch. As another turnover for the Eagles. Thornton kind of resigned <laughs> as he was called for the carry. And brought the ball back towards midcourt with him, said, so this is a carry. <laughs> Have to fight a little bit. Trying to state his case. Knocked away, Felder on the break. Weems trying to chase him down and does. Knocked out of bounds. They're going to be a foul, no, just out of bounds off Weems, but tremendous hustle by the freshman. And Felder, he's really come in and provided a spark off the bench for the Eagles, but how about Weems? We talk about his play on the offensive end, but makes a mistake, doesn't let up, and almost causes that turnover against the Eagles. BC able to maintain possession. Into the corner, Heath. Still looking for his first points of the day. Won't get him here. Felder fired it off the rim. Lopez comes away with it. Lopez driving into Thornton on the kick out. Moore takes the contested three and hits. Only the second three-pointer of the half for DePaul. Tied at 28 here in the final minute, 40 of the first half. Heath almost went away from that pass. Just got back to it at the end. Thornton slipped down, given to Felder. Off the ball screen, Heath on the kick out. Hamilton a three, short. Rebound Mitchell. Rare second chance opportunity for BC. Mitchell wants it in the low post. They don't get it to him. Back to Thornton with 10 to shoot. Drive and kick. Mitchell will try a three. That won't go. 
Stephon Mitchell, not really known as a three-point shooter, doesn't get one there. On the break, Moore took the handoff, and he's fouled. Nice little give and go between Moore and Hall there. And Charlie Moore will get his way to the free throw line. He's looking for the lob, maybe. Hall wasn't prepared for the alley-oop, but Moore just stayed planted under the basket. And he'll go to the free throw line. Coming up, we'll hear from Jim Christian and Dave Leto. Their thoughts on the first half. And I heard from Jared Hamilton earlier. We'll hear from some of the other Eagles about what foods they want to avoid and other such fun topics. More 80% from the free throw line on the year. Connecting on the first. DePaul has not had many opportunities, just six free throws. This will be their sixth here in the first half. Moore makes it count. He's got eight. And the timeout taken here by BC. So Jim Christian going to go over some things with his team here in the final minute. Trying to get BC into the locker room with a lead here. It's been back and forth here in the first half. DePaul has had a slight edge throughout, but the Eagles have answered a little bit, had the 6-0 run to go in front. Both teams working their way up their respective conferences. Here you see the national top 10 filled with ACC teams, Duke and Louisville at the top. You've also got an unbeaten North Carolina team in there, and of course the defending national champion, Virginia Cavaliers. So no, uh, certainly uh, plenty of room for ACC at the top. BC will be well tested as they move towards conference play in a few more weeks. Nice non-conference test here with an unbeaten DePaul side though. Heath will pull it back out, 15 to shoot. Thornton, DePaul switching to his zone defense for the first time today. Popovich from the corner. This is the three, Butts tips the rebound, fighting for it underneath Mitchell, one on two. He wins the battle, rolls it out to midcourt, and Heath will pick it up there. Shot clock only reset to 20, so time running out. Thornton wants to go one-on-one -on -one with Moore. Now Mitchell from the high post. Hamilton, the kick out. Trailing DePaul, 30-28. to 28. Eagles with the opening possession. Back to the same starting five. Here's Stephon Mitchell, the handoff to Derek Thornton. Only Eagle in double figures in that first half. They go inside to Popovich right away. He attacks Butts off the dribble. The spin in traffic blocked by Reed. Weems leads the break the other way, gives to Moore. Reed filling the lane, fires to Weems. Power dribble, Popovich the rejection. That's why they need Popovich in the game, but can't get any more fouls for him. But how about Weems just driving, but it was a close one for Popovich. He can't afford to get any fouls, especially early in this half. Yeah, he had two with still eight minutes to go in the first half. Jim Christian rolled the dice, actually put him out there for another rotation. He did not pick up a third. That was key before the end of the first half. Moore got Popovich up in the air and converts. Charlie Moore now with 10. DePaul up by four. Neither team led by more than four in the first half. It's been tight all the way through. Mitchell turning on Reed, tries to take him to the baseline. Finds Heath open. He hits. I think he might have heard us talking about, <laughs> about him earlier, but that was a great job by Mitchell, who just drew two guys in, and that, oh, that is what makes Reed one of the best players in the country. He's dominant inside, but can step out and hit those threes shooting over 60% from beyond the arc. Six for nine from deep on the season now for Paul Reed. Restores the four-point edge for DePaul. Heath, the V-cut, the floater, short. Uh, clearly trying to get him more involved. Yep. Moore. Coleman lands. Uh, doesn't get that one. Rebound out of bounds off Stephon Mitchell. Check out the nice feed for Jay Heath. Yep, and that was a great job by Mitchell. He drew two guys in and then hit Heath for the open three and then 
Reed, you cannot leave him open. Mitchell just got caught in the lane and Reed with solid finish. They call it jump ball as Moore had his shot blocked while he was in midair. Possession arrow will keep it with the Blue Demons. Down to 10 to shoot. Coleman lands back to Moore. Butts sets the high screen. Moore sprints past Popovich. Got caught up inside. Butts goes into Popovich. And there's number three on the big man. And you can see Jim Christian not, is not happy on the sidelines, but he's got to be careful in those situations. It was a great call play, just going right at Popovich, but it doesn't look like he goes too much in there, but can't have your hands over. Tough, certainly a lot of contact. Popovich thinking he was straight up there, but Butts forcing the issue and draws an early third foul on Nick Popovich, so he'll have to head out. Talked about he's struggling. Popovich 0 for 3 from the field. Only two rebounds. It's something BC really can't afford to have two of its top scorers going quiet today. And the key for Popovich coming into this season was they needed his consistency. They needed the consistent play of the inside. And part of that is not getting into foul trouble, staying in the game and being the presence they need him to be inside. Seven points for Butts. DePaul with its largest lead. He nearly lost it. Felder knifing into the lane, hanging, hitting, and the foul. C.J. Felder with a tough finish. How about C.J. Felder coming in off the bench against Eastern Washington with a huge spark for the Eagles in that win, but once again coming off and just great penetration and a chance for an AM1. They called that foul on Paul Reed, so Popovich picks up his third on one end. And now Reed has his third for DePaul. The plot thickens. Felder gets the bounce, converting the end one. Reed right now going to stay on the floor for the moment. I wonder if maybe DePaul didn't get word that that foul was on him. Yeah. We'll see the Eagles with a bit of a smaller lineup going with that full court press, but going right in the middle, and Coleman lands, hits the jump shot. First bucket today for the senior from Indianapolis. DePaul up five. A little more than two minutes gone here in the second. Off the Mitchell screen, he gets it back. Open in the corner, Hamilton attacks. Fired on side, Felder couldn't make a clean catch. And it goes out of bounds off Stephon Mitchell. Hamilton maybe trying to do a little too much there. Yep, and I think that's where a little bit of a freshman mistake, but you need to take care of the basketball. Right now they have 10 turnovers, but where it's hurt them are the 11 points that the Blue Demons have off those turnovers as we see Reed going to the bench with those three fouls. Four, pretty shot. North Carolina taking on Princeton for the national title tomorrow afternoon. Back underway here at Connie Forum. DePaul with its largest lead of the day on top of the Eagles, 41-34. Blue Demons trying to go to 6-0 on the year. Julian Rishwain back into the ball game. He had a couple threes in that first half for BC. They'd like to get him going again. We'll see the Blue Demons switching up their defense to a matchup zone as they force another turnover. Mitchell throws that one away. Moore, the lob, butts the jam. <laughs> now those two have found a nice little kismet yep. here. What a good job Moore does, just splitting the defenders and leading his big men for those easy lay-ins. Well, they make it look easy. 12 points, five assists for the Kansas transfer. Hamilton fakes the three. Caught up here, Felder coming to help. Three on the shot clock, Felder. Mitchell somehow got the shot away, but it wouldn't fall. Good defense that time for the Blue Demons. Moore from way downtown. That won't go. Maybe a rush shot that time. Mitchell got away with a double dribble. Pushed it up ahead, Rishwain. Extra pass. Hamilton's three, short. And the rebound for Darius Hall. Numbers for DePaul the other way. Hall, the trailer, kicks it back out. Moore uncontested off the window. 
run. They're four of their last five, and most of those scoring opportunities have come off of turnovers and those rebounds, and they need Popovich and his inside presence to get some scoring on the offensive end. Charlie Moore, you saw their key to that 8-0 run. 14 points, six assists for Moore. He is, fair to say, been the best player on the floor. Eagles go inside to Felder, trying to muscle his way toward the hoop. Knocked loose. Felder able to gather it back up. Popovich outside. Thornton attacks, runs over a man. Offensive foul. That was a great job by Hall, stepping in and taking that charge against Thornton. Second on Thornton. Only the second team foul on BC, but pretty clear right now the Eagles are searching for answers on offense. And you can see Thornton pretty frustrated by that foul call, but they have not been able to get it going offensively. Coleman lands a three, in and out, Rishwain the rebound. Nearly a three minute scoring drought right now for BC. Heath had that early three-pointer, got him back within one. Since then, it's been all to Paul. Popovich from deep. No go. Moore with a rebound. I've spoken a lot about Popovich's inside presence, but until last game, he was leading the Eagles in three-point shots made this season. I haven't seen much of that from him today. No. Moore able to knife through, floats it up. Didn't have the magic touch there. Moore wanted a foul. Rishway in the push. Got it up ahead. Felder lost it. Got it back. Rejected from behind. But they're going to get Weems for a foul as well. That was a great play by C.J. Felder. But how about Romeo Weems just coming in out of nowhere. But still gets that foul call. Saw so did not give up on a play in the first half. Chased down. Felder on a fast break and knocked it away from him. Did the same there. Felder, perfect from the line on the year, six for six. And we got a technical foul coming up here on DePaul. Right, right out of nowhere, a little bit of a skirmish among the free throw line. Kamari Williams was down there. They have gotten to a conversation. I'm not sure whether that was on Coleman Lands or Butts. Coach Leto on the sidelines, not too happy with that technical foul. It goes on butts. <laughs> Richwain takes the technicals. Not too sure what happened there. Well. Didn't seem that unfriendly a conversation, but obviously we don't know what was said. <laughs> but uh, in any event, Williams, you can sort of say, drew the technical out of butts. Yeah. Yeah, free couple points for the Eagles from Rishwain. And now Felder will take his two previous. And the freshman Rishwain came in in the first half, went two for two from the three-point line. Came up with a much needed two free throws there. Butts clapping his hands together. So they're trying to get himself back in the zone. <laughs> Felder out of Sumter, South Carolina, former McDonald's All American nominee. It's been a nice addition in the front court for the Eagles off the bench. Seven points, four and a half rebounds a game. And perfect from the free throw line on the season. And that's why free throws are so important. The Eagles have gone almost four minutes without a field goal, but now back within eight just with those four free throws. Stephon Mitchell back in as Felder on the bench. Crowd coming to life here at Connie. Reams can't finish. Rishwain with a good battle to get the rebound. Takes the handoff, Keith Popovich drives right at Butts, and a foul called on Butts. Thought he had a clean strip. He's going to be hit with a foul instead, his third. 
really like the attack by Popovich. Just saw he had a little bit of space and draws another foul against Butts inside. How much of that is guy just got a technical foul, go right at him? <laughs> I mean, why not right now? Especially you can see Butts is, has a smile on his face. Doesn't seem to affect him too much. Matched up with Popovich, well out beyond the arc, trying to take him off the dribble. He just lost it. Hall ahead for more. The lob and the slam from Weems. And we got a whistle after the play. It's going to go against Popovich. So more problems for BC as the big man for the Eagles picks up a technical. And now Jim Christian, you feel like, is probably going to have no choice but to pull Popovich out of this game. Yeah. I was a bit too distracted by Moore's lead-in to Romeo Weems on the offensive end. I couldn't see what happened with Popovich, but... Well, you see the slam said something. Thought he was fouled, which is why the ball was knocked loose. And as he kept at it, earned himself a technical, and now earns himself a seat on the bench. That's his fourth foul. So one more, and his day is done. Scoreless day for the senior from Bosnia-Herzegovina. Gosh, and you just have to be smarter than that. As a senior leader, knowing the situation you're in, you have three fouls. You need, they need you in the game, but just let the play go. And all that momentum BC gained off of its free throws now quickly taken back as DePaul extended the lead back to 11. Rishwain hits. <laughs> How about 11 for the freshman? And one guy who has not had trouble making shots today is Rishwain. Now three for three from beyond the arc. 11 points ties the season and career high for the California kid. Trying to give BC a spark more. Finds an open man, Weems buries a three. Every time BC makes some noise, DePaul has had an answer. I've had so much fun watching Moore play. His ability to find his open teammates and just lead them into flow, but then Romeo Weems as an offensive foul is called on the Eagles. So the freshman Rishween is three for three from the three-point line now, but the Blue Demons answer with a great penetration and kick out to Weems, who hits another. 14 today for Weems, a new career high for him. That foul on Stephon Mitchell, his third. Moore. No bounce this time. Mitchell the rebound. Leads Heath ahead. Start and stop dribble, knocked away by Weems out of bounds. Romeo Weems leading the way for the Blue Demons today. DePaul up 11 here at B. This is his first year, but we'll first see more with an unbelievable lead in. And then here on the three, now 16 points for today's game. He's been unbelievable for the Blue Demons. Out of Detroit, Michigan. The Mr. Basketball winner in the state of Michigan last year and seen a variety of performances from him today. He's seen a little bit of the inside, the outside, the defense as well. Yeah, and he was named Big East Freshman of the Week following their wins over Iowa and Cornell as couldn't hit that one for the Eagles. Rishwain fading away a little bit there, unable to knock down the triple. And right now, BC just needs someone to give him some life on offense. Rishwain trying to do that as Jay Heath and Nick Popovich have been held down respectively today by the DePaul defense, and Popovich at least in foul trouble. Paul Reed back out on the floor for DePaul, playing with three. Here is Weems into the hands of Marquise Jacobs. Turns the corner, fumbled it away, right to Hall, who tips it in. That'll be a goaltending violation. Thornton got it off the glass quickly. His first bucket of the second half. 
That was a great hustle play by Hall, who had a great two points on the offensive end and comes back and almost gets that block. Offensive foul on Lopez. Second time Thornton's drawn one of those. This was a great defensive play by Thornton, who steps up and takes the second charge of the game. So now they got their defense going. They have to get something going on the offensive end. Mitchell, Felder a three. That won't go. Only a quick break on the bench for Charlie Moore. Get the sense that Dave Leto wants him on the floor as much as possible. <laughs> He's really been the playmaker, especially with Reed, who's had a bit of foul trouble in this game. Brishway in the whirling pass. Mitchell in and one. <laughs> well, maybe that was the spark PC needed. <laughs> and they needed a spark, but they get a great stop on defense. And... Rishwain rewards Mitchell, who has a strong run and finish with a chance for three. Lopez, his third foul. That puts BC one away from the bonus. Mitchell, a chance for a three-point play. Not a guy who scores a lot for the Eagles, but a guy who does just about everything else. <laughs> Leads the team in rebounding, blocks, assists, but has been the player who's really done all the intangibles for the Eagles. His first two seasons, but he really put in a lot of work on the offseason on his shot, trying to be more of an offensive threat for the Eagles. And today they need that. Trying to get a stop here, back within eight. Heath forces the loose ball, comes up with a steal. Rishwain leads it away, and he's grabbed on his way to the rim. <laughs> Foul on Marquise Jacobs. And Jim Christian knew the key to this game was going to be their effort on defense, and they've shown Jay Heath not giving up, leading Rishwain. And that is the Eagles' eighth steal of the game, and especially when you're struggling shooting from beyond the arc and inside. You've got to put the effort into the defense and create some flow from there. Rishwain off on the first free throw. That's only the second free throw miss for BC today. DePaul had turned it over 11 times in the first half. That's only their third turnover in the second half. So they've been much better taking yeah. care of the ball. That's why they were able to pull away. Rishwain makes one of two. New career high for the freshman with a dozen. BC trying to chip away. Still plenty of time left. Butts calling for it inside, tipped Ooh. away by Rishwain, but then Heath couldn't hold on to it. And Rishwain's going to get minutes because of how effective he is on the offensive end, but <laughs> want to stay on the floor, make some plays on the defensive end, and that was just a great hustle play by Rishwain. I knew that Felder was going to need some help down low there and provided that help. Thornton caught in a mismatch with Butts. Reed wants to try to get it to him. Over it comes to Hall. Nice move. Hall. Offensive foul. Officials all looking at one another for a moment, but they call the charge. Third foul on Darius Hall, and once again, Derek Thornton steps in the way of the speeding automobile. I think Thornton saw that Hall was not stopping, and takes a lot of grit to stand there and use your body to take that charge, but they need to keep this momentum, get those stops and scores. Felder, Rishwain, drives, kicks, Thornton, traveled, no, he stepped out of bounds. They talked about Popovich in foul trouble for BC, to Paul in a little bit of trouble as well, Reed Butts, Lopez Hall, all with three. Yep, and Reed, who was really effective for the offense for the Blue Demons in the first half. Hasn't been as effective because of that foul trouble going into the second half, but tries to get one there, and Butts comes up with it. Lost it on the way up. Moore. 
pull up. In and out. Lost. Rebound gathered up by Weems. Back out to Moore. Reed. Awkward shot. That won't fall. Weems another offensive rebound. Weems for three. Short. Weems lost it. And it'll go out of bounds off the Blue Demons. Had three cracks at it. Couldn't get it to go. I think the Eagles got a little lucky on that possession because, as you can see, 11 offensive rebounds for DePaul. Now 12, but 37 to 20. That's just unacceptable if you're the Eagles. Uh, how much of that has just been Popovich not being on the floor? Let's part that and because Heath. Whew. And this is the time they need him to make some of those shots. And huge one for the freshman. And now they're within four. Welcome back, Jay Heath. His second three of the day gets the Eagles within four. Timeout here from Connie Forum. As you see, Rich Wayne, who has his game high 12 points, and then Jay Heath hits the three to keep the momentum for the Eagles now back within four. Well, BC showing some signs of life here alongside the former Eagle captain, Kerry Shields. Ben Alchi here with you on a Saturday afternoon from Connie Forum. Heath coming off that impressive performance against Eastern Washington Wednesday. Now with eight points in the afternoon today. Right now, the Eagles are on a 9-0 run, but that once again has come from their defensive effort. They've forced four turnovers. This is another great stop, but then Butts with a great finish. Thornton had the block on Moore, but again, just the size and strength of DePaul inside. Winning out in the end. And that's what's really hurt them has been their rebounding. They've got, once the ball shot goes up, you got to put a body on someone. Heath caught midair. Thornton drives, lost it. It'll be DePaul ball. Thornton not happy. Thought there was a deflection. And this was great D, but you need to finish the play. You've got to get a body on butts, but he does a great job of laying it in. He clearly has some size on the two freshmen who are in there, but you got to put a body. you got to get them out. They can't afford those second-chance points. Jim Christian's going to bring Nick Popovich back in, playing with four fouls. So a bit of a calculated risk here with under 7.30 to go. Just to try to counteract Butts' size. Coleman lands short on the pull-up. Rebound kept alive by Reed. Backing in Mitchell. The turnaround short. And Mitchell and Popovich tie up for the rebound. Mitchell takes it himself. Popovich, well, they left him open. He didn't even look at the basket. Popovich backs in, fades away, can't hit. Just hasn't been his day. Open three, Coleman lands. No. Offensive rebound, Weems fouled on the putback. Romeo Weems crashing the glass. And once again, there's no box out from the Eagles. Romeo Weems just takes advantage. You'll see shot goes up, and Romeo Weems takes advantage. And he's been unbelievable today for the Blue Demons. Foul was on Rishwain. Only his first, fifth team foul. Weems has only taken six free throws all year. DePaul, 8 of 11 today as a team. Moore has been the main beneficiary. Perfect five for five. Weems makes one of two. DePaul by seven. Six and a half left to go. A little pressure in the backcourt. Mitchell just barely gets it in before the five-second mark. Thornton drives, floats, no. Rebound butts. Moore almost lost it. Now looks to speed things up. 
Coleman lands, finds it. And that's his first two of the game, but what a step back shot. And a tough day for the senior, but getting one there. Again, DePaul able to answer the run from BC. Rishwing, quick trigger. Why not? <laughs> even a hand in his face, but there's no stopping him today. Moore got caught up. Read the outlet. Shooter's got to shoot, right? <laughs> Rishwain with a block. And Popovich comes away with a loose ball. Thornton rejected in traffic. Came down with it on the floor. And they're going to call a jump ball. Possession arrow keeps it with the Eagles. Join Rishwain just, he knows he's feeling it. Shot goes up, but doesn't just stop on the offensive end. He's making plays on the defensive end as well. Who would have thought gets that block against Reed? But what a game for the freshman. Obviously a talented shooter, but he'd struggled early in his college career. He was one for eight from three coming into this game. He's four for five today. I think as a shooter, you know you're going to have off games, but what's going to keep you in the game is how, how else are you affecting the game as Popovich, with his first two, gets them back within four. A little bit of unplanned offense there. The pass went off his face, <laughs> and then he just found a way to the whatever rim. Whatever it takes, whatever it takes. Oh, more so tricky. Runs oh. over Thornton. Offensive foul. Derek Thornton again. <laughs> This is where the, the key for the Eagles is going to be their defense. And that has started with Derek Thornton. That is his third charge of the game. But what a difference those charges make in the game. Another turnover by DePaul. They're 16th. BC chance to make it a one possession game. Heath. Moore almost stripped it. Under 10 to shoot. They set up the high screen. Mitchell thought about the three. Has to attack. Out to Heath. Has to get it away. Can't find it. Butts lost the rebound, but Reed is there to gather it. Well, this place would have exploded yeah. <laughs> had that gone down. Now the Eagles looking for another stop. Moore taking some time off the clock. Butts to the corner. Hall spins. Can't hit, but he'll go to the line. Rishwin looking for another statement rejection. Instead commits his second foul. I think that's when you have to know personnel. Hall, you know he is going to go to the basket, but does a great job drawing that contact, and now he's a chance for two. Sophomore from Arkansas, only 45% from the free throw line on the year. Started his college career with the Razorbacks. Sat out last year, the transfer year. And another one of those guys who still has a lot of eligibility for Dave Leto. Gets the bounce on the second free throw. Three points today for Darius Hall. DePaul by five, four minutes to go. Here at Connie Forum. Blue Demons trying to go to 6-0 on the year. Popovich. Heath. Back to the big man. Thornton. Step back three. In and out. Knocked away by Mitchell from behind. Heath open in the corner. They didn't see him. Thornton through traffic. Altered by Butts. Again, Thornton hitting the ground without a whistle. Moore on the break, floats, short. Mitchell again fighting for the board underneath. He's got it down on a knee, and he draws a foul. He'll go to the line. That's going to be the 10th team foul on DePaul as the players mix it up. BC trying for another comeback. When they need them, and the rebound not allowing for any second chance opportunities goes on strong, and... Holds the ball and draws that foul. What do you think? He doesn't know that BC needs some rebounding <laughs> right now. They've been getting beat up on the glass all game long. And 
very tough on that last defensive board. And he earned his way to the line. Close before the timeout, Paul Reed picked up his fourth foul on Mitchell. And BC now in the double bonus. And Kerry, they've been excellent at the free throw line all day. Yes, they have. And I think if you're Jim Christian and you saw right now the boards, the battle of the boards right now, DePaul with 44 to BC's 25. And they're still within five points. It's, it's pretty amazing. And one of the main reasons has been their free throw shooting. Mitchell just 55% from the line on the year. Coming off a solid performance, though, against the Eagles of Eastern Washington, where he knocked down five of eight. Chance to cut it to three here. That was just that. And the Blue Demons have not scored a field goal in the last three minutes. BC would love to keep up that trend. Butts harassed by Popovich. Moore out to get it. Reed inside to Butts. They double him. Weems flashing to the rim. That was a great job by Butts, who saw the double team coming over. Rishwain leaving his man, and no one dropped back for the Eagles, and Weems just finishes it. Beautiful ball movement by the Blue Demons. Popovich looks to take it. Oh, his man fell down. But slow to get up as Popovich hits off the glass. I think there's a wet spot on the floor there because Romeo Weems fell in the same spot, telling the ref. Tough way to give up a basket. Moore wants it, but sets the screen for him. Inside they go to Butts again, has the smaller man Thornton on him, attacks, blocked by Mitchell. <laughs> Thornton the other way, gets inside, back to the outside. That was a smart play by Thornton, who sees he has Butts on him, doesn't want to take him right now. How many times has he gone to the basket, hit the floor, and not gotten a call, though? Under 10 to shoot. With a skip in his step, Thornton hangs and hits! <laughs> Eagles within one. They're getting on their feet here at the Forum. High screen for Moore. Three. Wow. <laughs> I mean, there's not much you can do about that shot. Popovich had his hand up, but Moore. It's been incredible for the Blue Demons. Popovich to answer. Yes! <laughs> this is just about the time they need an offensive threat from Popovich. Who answers? We still have a one-point game here. Popovich hadn't scored for about 30 minutes of this ball game. He was in foul trouble. He had a technical. But when you need your senior leaders, Nick Popovich comes through. And that first three was more coming off of the screen. Popovich has his hand in his face, but I mean, really there's... There's nothing you can do about that, but then Popovich has only played less than 20 minutes this game, but hits the three when they need it. And really, Kerry, that's a shot he has not been looking for much today. I think because he's been in foul trouble for most of the game, he hasn't really been able to get into a flow within their offense. But he's struggled, but I think that's where his maturity has come into play. He's had a tough game, but with a minute left, they need his play on both ends of the floor, and he stepped up big. Now, when you're a player who's in foul trouble, you know it's been kind of an up and down game. How do you try to find that rhythm when your team needs you like they need Popovich now? And you have to have the confidence that even though it's not been your game, your team needs you. You need to step up, and with a minute left, one point game, they're going to have to dig down deep. Eagles looking for a stop. Weems attacks, floats, can't hit, gets his own miss. Tied up underneath, out to Moore for three. Hits again. 
Ice in the veins for Charlie Moore. And once again, just allow for an offensive rebound, but... Thornton rejected on the other end. Rishwain has to commit the foul. Thornton begging, pleading for a foul. He's not going to get it. You have to know if you're Thornton, they haven't called it all game. But once again, Weems just doesn't get up, give up on the play. No one boxes him out and more. And what a game for the senior. You see the Blue Demon bench loving it. 18 second chance points for the Blue Demons today. Only two for BC. And that just hurts. If you're the Eagles, to look back, no, you're within four to a very good undefeated Blue Demons team. But you've just allowed for too many second chance opportunities. Coleman lands. It's the front end of the one and one, trying to stretch the lead out here. Twenty-six seconds left. BC certainly not out of reach quite yet, but they're going to have to hurry and find a way to hit some shots. Only one timeout left for Jim Christian as well. As Coleman lands, knocks down the second free throw. Darius Hall will come back in. That's just another big body rebounder coming in for the Blue Demons. Thornton lets it roll. Popovich can't get that one. And a foul going to be on Stefan Mitchell. No, they're going to say it just went out of bounds off of Moore. There was a collision between he and Mitchell. But it will stay with BC. That's a good shot by Popovich. It's a good look, but... Couldn't make it fall, but once again, Stefan Mitchell with a hustle play to keep this in them in this game. Timeout taken as we get a look at what's ahead for the Eagles. Doesn't get much easier. As a uh, tough schedule outside of the ACC. Another home game against St. Louis coming up. And there you see the Future opponents winning percentage for the Eagles, number two in the league. I mean, only behind Wake Forest in strength of schedule, but a lot of that has to do with the ACC play. ACC play right now, five teams in the ACC in the top ten in the country. Duke with a big win over Georgetown last night, but their schedule does not get any easier. And how about this DePaul team? Preseason ranked 10th in their conference. Now looking to be one of three unbeaten teams in the Big East. Well, it certainly feels like they are going to finish better than where they're projected to be. The Big East is a good league, obviously. You know, Villanova, Butler, etc. But uh, now this DePaul team certainly seems like it has a ton of talent. And again, a head coach who knows what to do with this program. Yeah. You, know, you know, arguably the best success that DePaul has had in recent memory came with Dave Lato at the helm in the early 2000s. Yeah. This is the best start they've had in over a decade, but the team he's been able to put together, four transfers, three who are playing big minutes. Rishway in the nice ball fake. This is the three though. Heath will let it go out of bounds, so stays with BC, but at some point the Eagles are gonna have to hit a shot here. And that's who you want taking that three point shot. Mitchell, long inbound. Heath all the way out near midcourt, has to take it. He'll hit it! Now can BC get a turnover when he needs it? Inbound to Moore, Thornton ties him up. And this is the guy DePaul wants at the free throw line. How about the freshman for the Eagles stepping up big, Jay Heath. His money on this one, puts them within three, but with 10 seconds left, they have to fail. And as you said, Moore is not the person they want to go to the line. Five for five today, 80% on the season. Still only a one and one. That was the eighth Eagles team foul. Credit Jay Heath, the freshman, coming in off of the best game so far in his freshman campaign. Did not score in the first half, but has 11 in this second half as Moore hits the second. 
They push it up quickly. Richwain fires. Can't knock it down. Rebound. Reed. And DePaul, for the second time this year, wins a big road game against the Power Conference team. And the Blue Demons, off to their best start in 30 years, stay unbeaten. Up 6-0 as they knock off BC today, 72-67. Gosh, and they were led by the play of Charlie Moore, who was unbelievable, 24 points, eight, rebound, eight assists, four rebounds, but really the story of this game was the rebounding. The Eagles were out-rebounded by 20. You have to be happy with the grit that they showed and made it a game within